Leadership means to me giving your heart to others by listening to their heart. When they speak, listen to their heart message, not just their head message. Go about like encouraging or helping this person out. I believe your first job is going to be to help her understand where her heart is. And Aileen is going to have to start with giving them a reason to take ownership of what they're doing. Yes, ownership, that's a key thing. And when your heart is there and the environment is open to allow you to, to follow their heart, it will happen. Too many times leaders assume their job is to make you do what a leader wants you to do rather than help you fall in love with doing what you need to do for other people. It's called selflessness. We are awfully quick to jump to actions before we have worked out the issues of relationships between people and between organizations and people. And we get premature in driving behavioral change without realizing the harm we can do if we do it blindly. Right. Well, you can't force behavioral change. It has to be a desire. Well, you can force it. You tell somebody you either sharpen these pencils or you're fired, they'll sharpen pencils. But they won't be on board. Their heart will not be there. That's the trouble. Too many businesses are getting behaviors, but they're not getting heart. the heart. Yeah. The team. I work together as a group of people. I'm so that each member of the team is serving the whole team, not just the company. It's a family kind of a thing. It's called love. Some people are easier to love than others. And some people find it easier to love than others. Mm -hmm. Some people can easily love and forgive. Some people have a hard time forgiving and therefore cease to love. 